investors have actually many kinds of objective. It can be either for a retirement fund or uh, you know funds for um, gathering your next property or you know uh, it can be any funds, right? And they, and we are actually quite privileged today because there are so many investors who have gone before us, and we can actually acquire a strategy from them. Okay, and you we can actually adopt that strategy uh, based on the objective that you have. For example, if I want to go into long term investment for my retirement fund. And then I have to adopt a long-term investment strategy. And people like Warren Buffett, I mean, he has, he's one of the richest uh, men in the world who is basically just investing in the markets. And we can follow his, his style, basically, uh, to invest in the markets. And if we are able to learn his style of investing, then we are actually able to also uh, get the desired returns from the markets based on the strategy that he has already adopted. So we can follow them. And there are also many different kinds of strategies. For example, if I'm going to invest in properties, Right? And I don't have so much money to invest in properties. Now, the stock market allows you to buy uh, products like REITs, right? uh, real, real Estate Investment Trust, where you can have any amount of money to invest in and you keep on buying the units. You know, at the end of the day, if you keep on buying those units, you know, you're probably going to end up having a shop itself in, in one of the uh, uh, shopping centers. And that's where you collect your rental and all that. And there are many other products that you can actually trade. And uh, one of the problems with most investors uh, is that we have this mentality where we normally follow the crowd, right? Like, for example, we are currently facing a lot of crises. We have the currency crisis and then we have the um, uh, commodities crisis, commodity prices are falling and all that. But there, are, there is always a silver lining, right? Like, for example, what happens when um, the currency is bad? Everybody talks about the currency, right? And it's just, oh, the market is bad, the market is weak, it's better just stay back and do nothing about it. But in fact, there are opportunities when currencies are weak. So investors need to uh, focus and needs to know and needs to find out which are the opportunities available. For example, export-oriented companies, right? They are the ones going to benefit with uh, really high uh, or very uh, know, uh, weak currency, weak ringgit, right? They're going to benefit because they'll be trading in the US dollars, right? Uh, commodities prices are low. For example, rubber prices are low. But there are companies that make rubber products, so these companies will benefit from lower commodities prices. So we should be focusing on this instead of you know, just following the market and says everything is, is bad. Right? And I, I quote what, what Warren Buffett does in his trading strategy, where he says that uh, one has to be fearful when others are greedy, okay? and greedy when others are fearful. Now what basically that means is that um, when the market is fearful, when everybody is selling and everybody talks the market is bad, this is a time for you to look for opportunities. Right? But when everybody is into the market, then it's, we have to start to be fearful. And that's when we should be thinking, or oh, maybe I should go and sell some first. You know? So we have, we have to adopt that kind of thinking. And that, that's what uh, adopting a strategy is all about. And it has to basically suit your investment objective. Well, I think the best thing to invest first before you invest in the stock market is investing in the knowledge itself to invest in the market successfully. And I think the best place to acquire the skills and knowledge is through this event where you'll be able to learn a lot of uh, practical skills and knowledge from the uh, different experts in the industry.